Special Air Traffic Rules, or SATER, or Special Flight Rules, or SFRA. Code of Federal Regulation prescribes special air traffic rules for aircraft operating within the boundaries of a certain designated airspace. These are listed in 14 CFR Part 93 and can be found throughout the national airspace system. Procedures, nature of operations, and configuration, size, and density of traffic vary among the identified areas. SFRAs have an airspace of defined dimensions above land areas or territorial waters, within which the flight of aircraft is subject to rules set forth in 14 CFR Part 93, unless otherwise authorized by air traffic control. Not all areas listed in 14 CFR Part 93 are designated SFRA, but special air traffic rules apply to all areas described in that part. Each person operating an aircraft to, from, or within the airspace designated as a SATER or SFRA must adhere to the special air traffic rules set forth in that part. On the charts themselves, SFRAs are depicted on VFR, terminal, area, and helicopter route charts. For example, this is around Washington, D.C., and it's denoted with this large blue line that is in, highlighted in white with these um, checkered boxes. I, I don't know exactly how. Specifically for the DC SFRA, if you are operating within 60 nautical miles of the DC SFRA, see here this DC SFRA ring all the way around. If you're operating within 60 nautical miles of this DC SFR ring, then you have to have a special awareness training and so on and so forth. In order to enter into the DC SSO SFRA, you're going to have to be subject to a whole bunch of restrictions. And just from personal experience, getting inside of the uh, flight restricted zone or FRZ around Washington, D.C. doesn't take an act of Congress, but it's not exactly easy either. 